हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students so such friends i'll highly suggest you to watch our video as they will be very beneficial for you in the long term hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be talking about important current affairs of 21st of february the session will be very interesting all you have to do is pay attention till the end and watch this whole video so let's start first we are talking about aero india 2023 first of all tell me which edition of this aero india was held recently it was the 14th edition of the aero india that was held in bangalore karnataka this was held from 13 to 17th of february in bangalore karnataka <coughs> this was inaugurated by whom or it was launched by whom it was launched by prime minister narendra modi this is a biennial event that highlights the india's defense capabilities this five day event took place at air force station in bangalore karnataka all right this is the 14th aero india 2023 that was held in bangalore karnataka and this was a 5 day long event that took place at air force station in bangalore karnataka from 13th to 17th of february the theme that you need to remember here is the runway to a billion opportunities this is the theme that is important and you need to remember then this event was organized by whom it was organized by the department of defense production of the indian ministry of defense in bangalore then if we talk about this aero india the major exhibitors of aero india included airbus boeing desalt aviation lockheed martin israel aerospace industry brahmos aerospace army aviation hc robotics saab safran and here are other organize organization that you can see what was the main aim of conducting this aero india 23 that is the 14th edition to encourage the export of indigenous aircraft such as light compact aircraft tejas hct dornier light utility helicopter light compact helicopter and advanced light helicopter so the 14th edition of this aero india was held in bangalore karnataka launched by prime minister narendra modi and it was the 14th edition that was from 13 to 17th of february that was conducted and the theme is the runway to a billion opportunities next how many new cheetahs have been bought from south africa to kono national park or this question can be asked that from south africa to india and in india to it was brought to madhya pradesh and in madhya pradesh to it was your kuno national park so recently 12 cheetahs have been brought from south africa 
इन टू द कूनो नेशनल पार्क दिस सेवन ट्वेल्व चीताज इंक्लूडेड सेवन मेल्स एंड फाइव फीमेल्स ऑल राइट फ्रॉम साउथ अफ्रीका वेयर एज इफ यू रिमेंबर एट चीताज वर पुट अप इन द सेपरेट क्वारंटीन क्लोजर्स वेयर फोर अदर्स वर कैप्ट इन द बोमास इन पेयर्स Now, what is the total number of total cheetahs? If you remember, the total number of cheetahs in Kuno National Park, or we can say in India, has increased to twenty. All right. Next, out twenty, twelve has been brought now, and eight were bought earlier. So, total twenty cheetahs have been there in the Kuno National Park. Apart from this, remember. Indian and South African government has recently signed a memorandum of understanding on 26th of January 2023 in order to translocate more than 100 cheetahs to India over the next decade and the term of this MOU will be reviewed every 5 years to ensure it remains relevant the last cheetah in india was killed in the korea district of present day chatisgarh in 1947 and the species was declared extinct in 1952 and in if you remember if we talk about tiger then similarly a tiger protection act was also launched in 1973 this is but we are talking about cheetah but still you can know about tiger protection act also all right moving on next Where will North India's first nuclear plant will be set up? So remember, Asia's or uh, North India's nuclear plant, or North India's first nuclear plant, will be set up where it will be set up in Haryana. All right. I repeat, our Union Minister for Science and Technology and Atomic Energy and Space, Jitendra Singh, has mentioned about the upcoming installation of North India's first nuclear plant. that will be in gorakhpur haryana all right and the name of the project is gha vp what is this gha vp stands for this gha vp stands for gorakhpur haryana anu vidyut pariyojana and this project this is the first nuclear plant in the north india and this will be located in the gorakhpur village in haryana all right important Out of the total allocated fund of twenty thousand five hundred and ninety four crore rupees, an amount of four thousand nine hundred six crore rupees has been spent so far. Thus, the date a total financial progress is twenty three point eight percent. All right. Next, next is government forms a panel that was led by cabinet secretary Rajiv Gauba in order to monitor Mission Karam Yogi. All right. What is Mission Karam Yogi? Mission Yog Karam Yogi is basically for training government employees. For training government employees. All right. So in order to monitor Mission Karam Yogi, government formed a panel that was led by Cabinet Secretary Rajiv Gauba. So question can be asked in such a way that in order to monitor Karam Yogi, the panel formed by the government was led by whom? it was led by rajiv gauba all right important then uh, members of the cscu that is your cabinet secretary coordination unit included a nominee of prime minister's office secretary cabinet secretary at dopt secretary at home secretary at expenditure secretary at environment forest and climate change secretary at higher education secretary and revenue secretary at all right then if we talk about initiatives under the karam yogi platform as of latest update that of the update updated data a total of 3 lakh 13367 learners have been on board with almost 5 million learning minutes on the integrated government online training karam yogi platform as many as 341 courses have been published by almost 1500 ministries or department and their organization as of january 2023 a karam yogi talk series was also launched by karam yogi bharat as a forum for all learners on the igot that is your integrated government online training karam yogi to engage and interact with the renowned experts professionals across the government 
industry and private entities so coming back remember that government formed a panel for monitoring the misham karam yogi and this committee or this panel was led by whom chief cabinet secretary rajiv goba next india and nepal has signed an agreement to increase the power input and export capacity of dalde cover muzaffarnagar transmission line by how much so remember it was india and nepal that is signed a pact to raise 200 megawatt to dalde bikar muzaffarnagar transmission line all right here you can see that 200 megawatt to the dalde cover muzaffar transmission line has been agreed to be added by india and nepal all right earlier it used it is was running on 600 megawatt now there is planning to increase it from 600 to 800 that means an increase of 200 megawatt can be seen the agreement between india and nepal was signed on 18th of february 2023 during the 10th edition of india nepal energy secretariat level joint steering committee meeting that was held in rajasthan in mount abu all right then apart from this you can also remember that this agreement was made to increase the capacity to import and export electricity electricity through the 400 kilowatt dalde cover muzaffar transmission line by 200 megawatt and it has also been agreed to set up the necessary mechanisms to use the existing 132 kilowatt transmission line to export electricity from nepal to bihar throughout the rainy season all right and apart from this india has also granted permission for nepal to export 50 megawatt of power to bangladesh through india under export import guidelines if a specific proposal is submitted next world's highest weather station has been rebuilt on mount everest all right by whom so we know earlier this question was also raised that the world's highest weather station has been built by whom it was built by net geo where was this built it was built on mount everest and now the another the question has been framed in a different way that world's highest weather station has been rebuilt on mount everest by whom it has also been rebuilt by net geo all right recently this world's highest weather station was destroyed by a storm and due to which there was a damage and in order to rebuild it it was built rebuilt by net geo that is your national geographic all right a team of scientists and sherpa have again placed its new version atop the mount everest a group of has been led by tenzing glanzing sherpa a 31 year old electrician and mountain guide has been has helped in order to rebuild this world's highest weather station on mount everest all right then according to the guinness world record the team of mountaineers and scientists of netgeo installed a record breaking station in 2022 at an altitude of 8810 meters just 39 meters below the mount everest summit also it was the it was installed at to automatically measure various meteorological phenomena and this station will be fully operated by netgeo till 2025 before transferring the technology to the nepal government in 2006 next next is nddb that is your national dairy development board nddb mrida limited signed a mou with sistema dot bio and has unveiled the gobar se smriddhi program so question can directly be asked that gobar se smriddhi program this was launched where this was launched in gujarat it was launched by which two organization it is your national dairy development board mrida limited and that is a subsidiary of national development dairy board only they have signed a memorandum of understanding with sistema dot bio that is india's leading biogas company and they together have launched gobar se smriddhi program where was this launched this was launched in gujarat the agreement is signed to collaborate with small holder 
dairy farmers and others to uh, sustainable ways to energy solutions and create opportunities for farmers to earn additional income minish shah who is the chairman of nddb and nddb mrida limited and pius sohani who is the managing director of systema bio systema dot bio has graced the occasion all right so coming back remember gobar se smriddhi program where was this launched this was launched in gujarat it was launched by whom nddb mrida limited and systema dot bio these two organization has together launched this gobar se smriddhi program next one more thing here you can remember that currently 40000 farmers use biodigesters that are developed by systema bio to create value from waste and currently around 370 farmers have installed biogas plants in jharia gujarat next sagar prakrima sagar prakrima is phase 3 was launched by whom i repeat sagar prakrima's phase 3 was launched by whom tell me who launched the third phase of the sagar prakrima tell me the name of the person it was launched by whom so remember purushottam rupala ji who is our union minister of fisheries animal husbandry and dairying has launched sagar prakrima phase 3 from hazira port in gujarat and proceeds towards the coastal line of maharashtra at vasai vasova and prakrima will end at the sasan dock in mumbai i repeat prushottam rupala who is our union minister of fisheries animal husbandry and dairying they have launched this sagar prakrima phase 3 it was launched from hazira port this is in gujarat and this will proceed towards the coastline of maharashtra at satpati vasai varsova and prakrima will end at session dock and this session dock is in mumbai all right so hazira port to session dock this parikrama or sagar prakrama phase 3 will be conducted and it was launched by whom it was launched by prushottam rupala ji what is the main objective of this sagar prakrama or why are we observing this it is because to promote the responsible fisheries save marine ecosystem and disseminate the information about the various fisheries related government schemes about programs and show solidarity with all the fishermen and concerned stakeholders so basically we can say in order to help the fishermen community and in order to save the marine ecosystem and create awareness about the same among the fishermen and help those fishermen this particular sagar prakrama was launched the third phase focused on finding a sustainable balance between using marine fisheries resources to support coastal fishing communities livelihood and india's food security so we can say third edition of third phase of this sagar prakrama was based on sustainable development goals and how can we support the fishing community livelihoods and india's food security all right so it was the third phase of the sagar prakrama launched by prushottam rupala from hazira port in gujarat to sasan dock in mumbai this location is important from where to where definitely the question can be asked next which bank has topped the list of public sector lenders in loan growth and asset quality i repeat which bank has topped the list of the public sector lenders in loan growth and asset quality which bank it will be it is your bank of maharashtra option 2 is correct here all right directly you can remember that as per the analysis of the latest financial results of the public sector banks in pune maharashtra the bank of maharashtra has topped the list of the public sector banks in term of loan growth percentage for the third quarter of fiscal year 23 or third quarter of fiscal year 23 it showed a growth of 21.67% in gross advances year on year on the third quarter bank of maharashtra is followed by union bank with a growth rate of 19.80 in advances next india and uae business council launched the uae chapter to boost the bilateral trade and investment all right 
वी नो दैट इन यूनाइटेड अरब एमरेट्स वेरियस मल्टीपल प्रोजेक्ट्स बिग प्रोजेक्ट्स आर कमिंग अप एंड वी नो दैट यू ए ट्रेड्स इन डॉलर विद फॉर पेट्रोल विद यू एस ए बट नाउ दैट पेट्रो डोमिनेंस इज कमिंग डाउन एंड दे हैव एक्सेप्टेड इवन सऊदी अरेबिया हैज़ एक्सेप्टेड टू ट्रेड इन मल्टीपल करेंसीज ऑफ देयर ओन विद द रिस्पेक्टिव कंट्रीज सो इट इज इंडिया एंड यू ए देयर बिजनेस काउंसिल हैज लॉन्च द यू ए चैप्टर टू बूस्ट द बायोलेटरल ट्रेड एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट दैट मीन्स बोथ द कंट्रीज विल बी बोथ द कंट्रीज विल बी trading with each other and will be showing interest and even investment in different parts of the both countries so it is your uibc uc what is this uibc uc it is your uae india business council uae chapter and in this it was launched to boost the bilateral trade and investment between india and uae all right also it was commemorating the first anniversary of india uae comprehensive partnership agreement that is sepa that was launched to strengthen the economic ties between these two countries also remember that the two countries aim to increase the bilateral trade between them to 100 billion us dollar and attract another 75 billion us dollar investment from uae to india all right i repeat these two countries are planning to aim the increase or planning to increase the bilateral trade between them 200 billion dollar and even ua will be investing and there is a aim of india that ua will be investing almost 75 billion dollar in india also next who has been appointed as the national brand ambassador of unicef important question friends and it has been recently done who ayushman khurana has been appointed as the national brand ambassador for UNICEF All right Ayushman Khurana has joined the hands with UNICEF UNICEF to support the rights of every child to survive thrive and be protected as well as promote their voice and their agency in decisions that concern them Also in 2020 he was appointed as the UNICEF's India's celebrity advocate to advocate for ending violence against children and the broader child rights agenda he made active participation in international observation of children women child labor and more and now he has been appointed as the national brand ambassador of unicef so we can say that earlier he was appointed as the india's celebratory advocate of unicef and now he has been promoted or he has been appointed as the national brand ambassador of unicef also friends apart from this if we talk about syria remember last night there was an earthquake of 6.4 magnitude recently and we can see that after a heavy destruction that was in syria and now again we saw a huge earthquake there so reports are still yet to come we will cover this in next video next here you can see that ayushman khurana who is an indian actor has been appointed as the national uh, he has been appointed as the national brand ambassador of unicef all right earlier he was the india's celebratory advocate and now he has been appointed as the national ambassador moving on if we talk about isro isro's chandrayaan 3 has successfully undergone emi emc test what is this emi and emc test first of all remember this is conducted for satellite missions to ensure the functionality of a satellite subsystem in space environment and their compatibility with the expected electromagnetic levels so this is your emi emc test that was successfully recently conducted by isro this was conducted for the chandrayaan 3 mission and remember as per isro between 31st and january and 2nd of february chandrayaan 3 lander has successfully underwent this emi emc test at ur rao satellite center that is in bangalore karnataka if we talk about emi emc it is your electromagnetic interference electromagnetic capability test all right and it was conducted at what location ur rao satellite center and where is this ur rao satellite center it is in bangalore karnataka all right next If we talk about Chandrayaan three, Chandrayaan three interplanetary mission has the following three modules: 
प्रपल्शन मॉड्यूल लैंडर मॉड्यूल एंड रोवर एंड मिशन कम्प्लेक्सिटी कॉल्स फॉर इस्टेब्लिशिंग रेडियो फ्रिक्वेंसी कम्युनिकेशन लिंक बिटवीन द मॉड्यूल इट इज अ फॉलो ऑन मिशन टू चंद्रियान टू टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट एंड टू एंड कैपेबिलिटी इन सेफ लैंडिंग एंड रोविंग ऑन द लूनर सर्फेस दिस विल बी लॉन्च बाय जी एस एल वी एम के थ्री फ्रॉम सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर श्रीहरिकोटा इन द मंथ ऑफ जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो दिस क्वेश्चन कैन ऑल्सो बी आस दैन इट चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन विल बी लॉन्च फ्रॉम सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर यूजिंग द जी एस एल वी मार्क थ्री इट विल बी इन द मंथ ऑफ जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री नेक्स्ट डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम सेटेलाइट लॉन्च व्हीकल मिशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इंडिया फर्स्ट हाइब्रिड साउंडिंग रॉकेट मेड बाय स्टूडेंट हैज बीन लॉन्च आई रिपीट इंडिया फर्स्ट हाइब्रिड साउंडिंग रॉकेट दैट आर मेड दैट इज मेड बाय The school students from various states, as a part of Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam satellite launch vehicle mission for 2023, it was launched from Patipulam village in Tamil Nadu in the presence of Tamil Silai Sundar Rajan, who is the governor of Tung Telangana and lieutenant governor of Puducherry. All right. So remember, the first hybrided sounding rocket that was made by school students. that was a part of dr apj abdul kalam satellite launch vehicle mission for 2023 it was launched from tamil nadu in the presence of tamil sai sundarajan who is the governor of telangana and lieutenant governor of puducherry next next we are talking about delhi metro delhi metro has launched the first ever indigenously developed automatic train supervision system important friends i repeat question can be asked that which state metro has launched the first ever indigenously developed automatic train supervision system it was launched by delhi metro and this indigenously uh, indigenous automatic train supervision system is i ets it was launched in the february month for operations on delhi metro's first corridor red line and this red line is from rathala to shahid sthal all right important then remember dmrc stated about the launch of india's first virtual shopping app for metro that is momentum 2.0 what is momentum 2.0 momentum 2.0 is india's first virtual shopping app for metro what is this it is india's first shopping app for metro all right and this will allow users to make a variety of purchases and schedule a variety of services this app includes features for e shopping options with a variety of goods and brick and click store experience will enable shopping for groceries and other essential items at the metro station so this momentum 2.0 was launched by dmrc that is your delhi metro rail corporation and this is basically allowed for a basically it is a shopping application that was launched all right next next is rolls royce rolls royce marine north america has signed a memorandum of understanding with kk uh, kssl that is your kalyani strategic systems limited that is a 100% subsidiary of bharat forge limited to indigenously develop niche naval propulsion technologies and products for the indian navy i repeat rolls royce marine north america and kssl they have signed a memorandum of understanding to develop naval marine propulsors or we can say to develop niche naval propulsion technologies and product for the indian armies or in simple word question can be asked in order to develop navy products for indian navy which two organization has came together it is your rolls royce marine north america and kssl limited all right then this mou will enable the creation of local supply chain ecosystem in india that will be controllable and will help in order to give a boost to the local players also also this kssl will explore the options to become an in country provider for propulsor sales within the indian market this also includes design and development licensing manufacturing pre sales sales support installation commissioning testing service support everything will be done in india only next indian badminton team won which medal 
in the Asia Mixed Team Championship. All right, I repeat, Indian badminton team has won which medal in the badminton Asia Mixed Team Championship that was held in twenty twenty three in Dubai. So Indian badminton team has won here bronze medal. All right, this was during the third edition of the. Badminton Asia Mixed Team Championship for 2023. All right, this was held from 14 to 19th of February in 2023 at Dubai Exhibition Center that was held in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The championship was won by China. That means China Chinese badminton player has won the gold medal. They defeated South Korea. South Korea was on the second position with silver medal. and indian badminton players has won the bronze medal here all right remember the third position or the bronze medal was shared by india and thailand so this is all about your third edition of the asia mix team championship for badminton 2023 all right then apart from this remember this what was the official shuttle that was used here you can see here that it is your leaning g900 is the name of the shuttle that was used here badminton asia and united arab emirates badminton federation were the organizers and 17 teams representing all five regions in asia were the participants first position was of china second of south korea and third was of india and thailand moving on legendary yakshangana playback singer Balipa Narayan Bhagwatha has recently passed away I repeat Balipa Narayan Bhagwatha at a legendary Yashkana playback singer has passed away on 16th of February he was he passed away in Karnataka he was born in 1938 in the Kerala and remember he was famously known for the Balipa style of singing with his rich voice he inherited the style from his grandfather who was also the Balipa Narayan Bhagwatha he performed in kathal yashangana mela alone for over 4 decades next world day of social justice when do we observe this world day of social justice it is observed on 20th of february every year the world day of social justice is annually observed the globe on 20th of february to raise a voice against social justice the day also aims to eradicate poverty physical discrimination gender inequalities religious discrimination and illiteracy and create a socially integrated society by bringing together diverse communities worldwide all right and then you need to remember the theme here also of the world social justice world day of social justice it is overcoming barriers and unleashing opportunities for social justice i repeat the theme is overcoming barriers and unleashing opportunities for social justice Where is the headquarter of International Labour Organization? The headquarter is in Geneva, Switzerland. It was established in nineteen nineteen, and there are hundred and eighty seven members. Next, when do we observe Financial Literacy Week? It is from thirteenth to seventeenth of February that we observe Financial Literacy Week. All right. So RBI annually observe this Financial Literacy Week. this is to create awareness about the financial literacy and to address the demand side barriers and enable customers to make a better financial decision so in simple terms we can say in order to create financial literacy among the youth of india or among the population of india this financial literacy week is observed by reserve bank of india the theme that you need to remember for the same is good financial behavior your savior this is the theme for the financial literacy week and it was observed from 13 to 17th of february next next is vadani ai vadani institute for artificial intelligence that is vadani ai they have signed a memorandum of understanding with karnataka state department of agriculture to improve farmer welfares across karnataka using the ai powered solution i repeat vadani ai signed a memorandum of understanding with karnataka state development agriculture to improve the farmers welfare across karnataka using the artificial intelligent 
solutions we know in today's age we are talking about artificial intelligence only machine learning we are talking about we are talking about cloud technologies but recently because of the launch of the chat gpt we can see a us or logarithmic growth we can say basically in the ai because just after uh, open ai have launched this chat gpt we can see that multiple others companies have started incorporating this chat gpt or they have started launching their own artificial intelligent chat box or any other softwares applications all right that helps you to use artificial intelligence uh, intelligence in one or the other way all right also if we talk about the name of the artificial intelligence of google it is your bard bard ai all right next so friends that was your current affairs now let's go for a quick revision aero india 14th edition was held in bangalore karnataka from 13 to 17th of february 12 cheetahs from south africa released into the enclosure at kuno national park gha vp that is north india's first nuclear plant to be set up in haryana government forms a panel that was led by cabinet secretary rajiv gobba to monitor the mission karam yogi India and Nepal has signed a pact to raise 200 megawatt to Dalbekar Muzaffarnagar transmission line world's highest weather station has been rebuilt on mount everest NDDB Mrida limited signed MOU with Systema.bio to unveil the Gobar se Samriddhi program union minister Purushottam Rupala has launched Sagar Prikarma phase 3 from Hazira port in Gujarat bank of Maharashtra has stopped the PSB in loan growth and uae india business council has launched the uae chapter to boost the bilateral trade and investment unicef india appointed bollywood actor ayushman khurana as the national ambassador isro's chandrayaan 3 successfully undergoes emi emc test dr apj abdul kalam satellite launch vehicle mission for 2023 that is india's first hybrid sounding rocket that was made by students has been launched Delhi Metro has launched the first ever indigenously developed automatic train supervision system. Rolls-Royce Marine and KSSL has launched uh, or has signed an MOU for developing various naval equipments technology. Indian team has won bronze medal at the Badminton Asia Mixed Team Championship for 2023 in Dubai. Legendary Yashangna playback singer who recently passed away. That is Balipa Narayan Bhagwatha. Then World Day of Social Justice is observed on twentieth of February. Financial Literacy Week from thirteen to seventeenth of February. And Vadani AI, that is Vadani Artificial Intelligence, has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with KSDA, that is Kerala State Development Authority, to promote the welfare of farmers across Karnataka. So, friends, these were your important one-line revision. Now, let's go to the another revision current affairs for previous days. For example, Jammu and Kashmir government has approved 30.4 crore rupees based sensor based smart agriculture project. That means center uh, sensor based smart agriculture project was launched by whom? It was launched by or approved by Jammu and Kashmir. Next is your M passport mobile application. In order to fast track the passport applications and in order the uh, civilians to get their passport early as soon as possible. this will eliminate the need for the paperwork that means with the help of this m passport mobile application the police verification that is done by the police personnel will be easy will be paperless and can be done in approximately less than uh, approximately 10 days earlier that used to be done previously all right and this is your m passport mobile application launched by ministry of external affairs next which bank became the first in india to launch a upi light feature that will be helping for a transaction of up to 200 rupees and in a day for 2000 rupees plus 2000 rupees that is for 4000 rupees limit will be there and almost half of the transaction in india in 2022 was for less than 200 rupees so that is the reason this upi light feature was launched and paytm payments bank became the first in india to launch this upi light feature next 12th world hindi conference was held where it was held in fiji important 12th edition of the world hindi conference was held in nadi 
Fiji. Apart from this, remember that India also pledged 800,000 US dollars into the UN in order to start to encourage the use of Hindi at United Nations. Next is your Dharma Guardian. Dharma Guardian is the fourth edition of the India Japan exercise. This exercise was held in Japan only. Location is Japan for the Dharma Guardian. Next, India was ranked fourth among the 51 countries in having the quality entrepreneurship ecosystem. Important quality. Imp uh, what is the rank of India in having the quality entrepreneurship system? It is your fourth rank globally all right and it is from 51 nations next international childhood cancer day it is observed on 15th of february next Kelo india winter games this is the Kelo india winter games where was this held it was held in gulmarg this was the third edition of this Kelo india winter games and which state has or union territory has stopped there it is jammu and kashmir only that has secured the top position in the Kelo india winter games so friends, that's all for the day. Now it's time for your homework. First, what was the name of the first cruise ship manufactured in India? Second, uh, next is, next question is, which city is the host of the Techno Nortex 2023 event of Ministry of Textiles? Third, which city is the host of International Engineering and Technology Fair for 2023? So these are your three homework question friends. I hope you have understood the assignment. All you have to do now is like this video and comment below and let us know what are your views on such session. If you find the session to be interesting, just let us know in the comment section as this will motivate us to make a better content for you in the long term. So that's all for the day. Thank you and have a nice day. That's all for the day friends. I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel, you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel. And if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application, you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362. Apart from this, friends, you can follow us on the Facebook as well as on Instagram handle that is Affairs Cloud underscore official. In the end, friends, if you use a code that is Vikas10, you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code Vikas10. Also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue.